a voice. And he is a man that supports student unionism. And I know that he will continue to support student unionism because he loves unionism and he loves his students. I want to thank the leadership of the Student Union Government, University of Nigeria, Soka Campus. University of Nigeria is such a big university that we have two SUG governments, one in UNEC and one in Soka Campus. It is not like that in any part of Nigeria. So we have two presidents, two vice presidents, and all the rest. We only have one, one Senate with one Senate president. We have two House of Rep structure with two different speakers, two deputy speakers, and NAS National recognizes this. So I want to thank the leadership of Suka Campus SUG. And constitutionally, this function falls under the office of the Vice President, our own Comrade Victory. She's a dogged woman, and I know that um, she doesn't give up, and she doesn't give in. And that's why today this event is holding. Thank you so much, Comrade Victory, for remaining resolute. Um, I want to thank in a special way my friend, Comrade Barrister. I would like to put the comrade before the barrister because I think it's the comradeship that gave him the barristership position. He's outspoken, dogged. He's a human activist. He didn't tell you that one. The only difference between himself and I is that I'm a human activator. He's a human activist. The difference is that I target results. But most times, activists, they want to make the system recognize human existence. I thank you so much from my heart. You've been a young man I cherish from afar, and we've been a little bit close. I just challenge you that you didn't tell me when you were there finally. Thank you so much. Um, no, he's married though, so he's already hooked. <laughs> clap for him, clap for him. So, some of you looking at the fair young man, he's already engaged, married, wedded, so no space again. The doublet and octet rule is already activated. So, um, he raised a number of issues which I wouldn't have the time to address holistically. But before I say a few things, let me remind our comrade barrister that the um, 21st century is no longer uh, the 20th century or the 19th century. A lot of advancements have taken place and changes come with challenges. Did you hear me? What did I say? Changes come with challenges. And so these challenges must come and it is humans that will solve the problems associated with those challenges. Um, for our university, this current administration is student friendly and they want you people to have your government and run your government. SUG is about students and nothing more. The policy of the university is to support you to have a working functional government. And I want to stand here and say categorically that the current management of the University of Nigeria does not in any way interfere with how you elect your leaders. I repeat, we do not interfere with the processes we do is that the constitution you swore to uphold we ensure that you follow it to the letter because that is why we become the umpire and like he mentioned by my position as dean of students i am the chairman of university of nigeria electoral commission and by that the authority and responsibilities are vested on me to ensure that you elect credible leaders amongst yourselves following the constitution and so wherever there is an infraction against the constitution, we speak out. Some people may misunderstand it and interpret it wrongly, but we owe God and humanity one responsibility to uphold the constitution. And that I have done to the best of my ability, working with my team. So the matter here is, 
when he understood that we were on the path of truth, being a lawyer and an activist, he saw the truth and aligned by the truth. And I want to thank you again that the noise that was generated then that would have cost us lives here, that it was terminated by the Almighty God. Um, he has challenged you to be union minded, and I also support it. But in doing unionism, I want you to be careful that the 21st century has come with so much challenges. And one of the challenges I've seen amongst the youth of today is that you are very impatient. What did I say? You want to have it immediate. And life is a process. Everything that will happen to you must happen through process. Anything at all. If you marry today and conceive, there is no science that will make, shorten the gestation period to make it seven months. If it is seven months, the baby may not survive. So it is processed. Everything is processed. But I see a challenge with your generation. You want it fast. And so you are a fast moving generation. Of course, it has to be so because even technology is becoming fastly changing. And so you are trying to adapt and change. But I want to advise, in your attempt to change fastly and to solve problems very fast, always know that there must be process. You can't abridge anything. And that is where you run into problems. So I see a generation that wants to be rich without process. You want to become a millionaire without process. And it doesn't work. Such, process, such kind of experiences will not work. And that's why we quarrel. I used to tell my students, you in particular, that I am not too old and I'm not too young. I have seen the old generation, I have worked in their midst, and I'm now here working for and with you. And I'll normally tell you, you are the one that will destroy yourself. So, activism, or student unionism, should be played with a processed mind. You don't just open your mouth and do anything because you have the power, because energy is on your side. You can run, you can jump, you can shout, and you have the number. But I will always want you to study and know the fact and the truth. Truth and fact will always guide your actions. He raised the issue of, uh, there is nothing like school fees in the university system. It is called sundry fees, or what you call service charges. It's not school fees. So you're not paying any tuition. If you get your, your fee schedule and see any tuition written there, then we can be taken to court. It's service charges, which means anything you're paying for are tied to some services you're receiving. The issue now is, are you receiving the services? And that is where, as dean of students, we agree together that whoever, because civil service is suffering a lot of challenges. It's no longer like the time he was mentioning, the time of Zeke of Africa and all the rest, Kwame and Krumah. People have changed and deteriorated so badly. So I am doing my best as not too old, not too young dean to make sure that your stay in the university is safe, to make sure that you have the best of services Last month, December, towards Christmas, I ensured that students graduated. The exam officers were saying, we can't, I say you must. And they have to graduate. Because that is the role of our office, to make sure that your welfare is of optimal interest. So, but I want to beg you, students of UNM, please work within the ambits of the law. Don't be a lawbreaker, because he's a lawyer. He knows the implication of breaking laws. In all his activism, he does not break the law. Oh, Barisabo, do you break the law? Uh -huh. He doesn't break the law. So if you want to claim your right, make sure that you're not bring, breaking the law in claiming your right. And once you're conscientious with the law, conscientious and consistent with the law, you will not have any problem with anybody. I have defended students, I have, and I'll keep doing it, even outside being dean of students. Because my role, God gave me, is to raise leaders from amongst you.
I talk all the way to Nash National. I'm friendly with all the president. Current one, I know him by contact and phone. I've spoken to him and all the rest. So what am I saying? It's not enough to tell you to fight for your rights. The process of fighting for your rights is very premium. Don't just fight like a man without brain because you'll lose your life. Fight in wisdom. Fight in wisdom and I'll support your fight. I want to beg you, this student week is supposed to be a celebration week for you. Because of the congestion globally, there is pressure on the system. Your time in school is being congested and it is not good for your brain. It's not good for your development. But we can't help it because COVID-19 became the climax of the 21st century issue. And you know what has happened from 2019 December till now. We're trying to compress activities to make sure that you graduate. And so you need to step up. I'm going to do my best to support you. I have humanity in my heart. And I don't hate anybody. Even the worst person, I don't. I like to know the reason why you're doing what you're doing. And once I know the reason, we can pally together. I am the Dean of all students and I continue to support the good things you do and when there is any bad thing, we will have to sit down and talk about it. I am going to represent your case to the management of the university to ensure that you don't suffer. If you go to Nkrumah that used to be talked about, go there now, you will see what is going on in that hostel. Because once you stay, stay in school to be at least optimally uh, pleasurable. We may not give you five-star hotel, but we don't also want you to live in squalors. And let me use this opportunity to plead with the boys, the males to the barrister. The males are giving us trouble. The way they live in their hostels is too disturbing. Please, I'm sorry I have to make it public. Live like humans so that we can solve your problems. I want, I'm being honest with you. Most times the people that do we no go agree or we no go agree. They didn't pay one couple. They squat 7, 8, 10, 12 in a room. You can't try that in a female hostel. You can't try that. So I play with the male students here. Stop defacing our hostels. Let's live like human beings. Thank you, my, my, my son Ezekiel. I love, I love you so much. You're a dogged student. Physically challenged, but always on point. So thank you so much for being here. Now on the issue of mentorship. <laughs> there is the mentor and the mentee. My question to you is who is your mentor? Who is your mentor? Today's generation, your mentor is the ICT. Am I correct? Instagram, Facebook, whatever. There are so many of them. But well, one thing I need to leave with you is that you must agree to be mentored for you to be mentored. Am I correct? And there is something you have seen in the mentor that you want to copy. Am I correct? So there must be mutual agreement. But it has to be relational. It has to be what? It must be relationship. It must be based on relationship. I frown at colleagues, when I mean colleagues, lecturers, who despise our students. I frown at that. And I do it with my whole strength because you are the future leader and you are the current leader. We need to give you the opportunity to express yourself in the best form. But there is this, this gap that the older colleagues, the older generations are finding difficult to accept must be filled. And there is this yearning from you that they are not understanding. I am here as a bridge to ensure that you get the best of your time. Now, when I mean that as a mentee, you must have a relationship with your staff, with the mentor. I follow him. It doesn't work if you don't have a working relationship. You can't learn anything from somebody you don't like. I understand it. If there's any lecturer teaching you chemistry or anything, philosophy or whatever, and you don't like that lecturer, go and write it down. You may not likely pass that course. Not because the lecturer will mark you down, but emotionally you are detached from that lecturer. I follow him. All he says or she says, does, he does, it, they don't make meaning to you. So life is based on relationship. And so mentorship that will work must be relationship driven. 
I want to see a University of Nigeria where our alumni is working because you're graduating with love. I'm working on some things now. I spoke to the management. I said, on the day Coach wedded, Coach is one of our boys that have become a man now. Uh, what, the MC like you, because I learned through many people. I've learned something from you this afternoon. He said something that in a suit, if you get admission in 2014, year of graduation, 2018 for four year program. But in UNN, they will write possible year of uh, graduation. So, already when he mentioned that, I got emotionally attached with that statement. And I went to my vice chancellor and I said, That statement, even though it is grammatically correct and factually okay, but there is a spirit behind it. That the word possible year of graduation tends to suggest that we are admitting our children <laughs> without the certainty that they will graduate. <laughs> so, but it is a two-way thing, like I've always said. There is no single story. We are working on changing our psychic, changing our orientation, changing our understanding, so that you can fit into the 21st century. Smartness will increase. You have not even seen smartphones. You've not even seen smart technologies that are yet evolving. Before 2050, some of you don't need to visit any classroom at all. And you have your PhD, you have everything. It is, it is already coming. Things will change dynamically. Things will change so fast. Who told you that in less than three years that the whole world will change this way? We never believed it. That we can sit at home for eight months. Now we're talking about sitting at home in the Southeast and it is working. Can I tell you one thing? We must agree to relate so that we can effect the right change. Change is good for everybody, but you must define the parameters of the change. You must all sit down and agree. That's why Nigeria is not working because we've not sat down to agree. We must agree. Whether it is Yoruba, whether it is Hausa or Igbo, we must agree to forge ahead with the right change. And so on this note, I want to congratulate the Student Union Government of University of Nigeria and Soka Campus in particular for this great outing. Comrade Victory, I can to thank you for being a strong woman. I can to be strong. Uh, the world is not an easy place, so you need to be strong and dogged. But as you do this, it will be in humility, to be in wisdom, so that you can tap in the best. You are the best I have. You are the future. And we owe you all to make sure that you succeed in life. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. God bless you. Thank you.